is. Okay. Uh, it was the other arms that was had a problem. Also, something has hit these solar panels, solar arrays. Doesn't want me to look at it. Okay, fine. Does it want me to look at this? No? Really? You don't want me to you don't want me to say something about this? Oh, okay, no. Doesn't want me to say anything about that. That's EAS. Uh be over here? Let me say anything? No? Nothing? You don't want me to say anything about this? What about, what about these burn marks? What about whatever this is? Ow! <laughs> okay, uh... I've sworn that this is something I meant to... It's something like that. Maybe it's just not on that particular part. It's 11. Yes. Okay. Or EAS, rather. Is there anything on this side? No. Ugh, careful! Maybe some of these burns? No? Okay. Oh. There's gotta be this. Really? <clears throat> like, that seems pretty bad. Probably shouldn't be a big dent in the side of your spaceship. Actually, that's much worse. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got some goo. An unknown material is present at hull fracture points. That looks like what I found in EAS four. Yeah, space goo. What the hell is it? It's told you space goo. Ugh. Bring the sphere back inside and meet me in EAS three. Let's get this hatch open. I hope to God the others are okay. All right. Now, despite it saying low power levels, you actually have eternity to get back into the airlock. Hear the, you'll hear the reverse now. You'll gradually start to hear the alarm. Convenient. <laughs> Had just enough power to fix the airlock. Alright, ES3. That's where we're going. Unlock. Okay, so here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. Okay, that's it open. Now go. Where are we? 
<laughs> Did I get a new sphere? Did I get a new battery? Hello? Ugh. Anybody in here? Why'd my aspect ratio get so bad? Do you think a camera from like 2026, space camera, do you think they'd use 4 or 3? Maybe? Conserve power, I guess. Doesn't have to be bleeding HD quality. What part of Josh is dead is she not getting? That's not good. So, uh, something weird has happened here with the scripting, and I've kind of noticed this on the PS5. She's not in the correct position for that animation. Uh, she's, she's actually in front of him, or meant to be, but... That's your universal whatever reason, it happens on the PS5 sometimes. So keep an eye out for anything while you work. Hello? Is someone there? Oh. He did. It looked like central depressurized. It's okay now though. He's in his sleep, but I, I don't think he had AP. What about Jim? Josh, Ailsa? Nothing yet. We had like a Well, power. we know Josh is like <laughs> outside the station somewhere. We know we didn't see him. I am not your slave. I guess I am. I'm a stupid AI. Okay. Station alerts. Uh, that's UN03. Is that the problem? Alright, looks like. Camera error. Camera error. The cameras in EAS 10 are failing to initialize. Okay, so this was just the the airlock, I guess. The cameras, the camera works there now. That's about that's about it. Also, won't let me add this to system link, even though I'm pressing the button. But okay. Uh, let's see. There was another camera that was broken. Is it this one? Cameras in EAS twelve have failed to initialize. Unsurprisingly. <laughs> Nothing we can do about it now. Oh well. Uh well, that's UNO3, that's also UNO3, so either way we need to tell the crew about it. The coolant network is reporting multiple errors. Recommend investigation. That could give us problems later on. Have a look at the network hub, please, Sam. 
Hey, what about this one? God damn it. Okay, ES1 was where the uh, power supply thing is. It looks like I don't have a sphere currently, for this section at least. So we haven't been to... We've been to four? Yes, four is where four is where the fire was. We're being to we'll do one. Okay, so go to U L C. Where's U L C here? I tell them that I can't, I'm not allowed in there? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so, the EAS schematic is one way, but the UN hatch schematic is something else, so you'll need to keep that in mind. Technical diagrams, the same thing, only it's for the, the UN hatches. And it's slightly corrupted. You'll find that the ones for the Chinese and Russian ones are even more corrupted. So it becomes a bit a bit weird after that. Head up. So for those of you who don't know, Het Up is just pissed off, frustrated, basically. Uh, an encryption key matrix. All standard communications between observation and ground control are automatically hardware encrypted and paired in the event of a breakdown in hardware or to contact local vessels such as approaching shuttle. Whose encryption hardware has failed, use this key to reconfigure. Each vessel carries the same this same key, and as such, stationed craft Houston communications should still be possible by decrypting with this key, even with hardware failures. Right, well, that will be helpful. That was an easy one. Currently unavailable. Okay, so you can connect to you can connect to this stuff, but you can't really use it until. Quite a bit later in the game, really. What's she working on? Communications. I didn't necessarily need to do that. <laughs> it also won't let me close it now. Close hatch. No, oh, okay. Alright, where are we going? Here. Anything important? No. Also, no. Anyway, what was I meant to be doing? <laughs> what was I meant to be doing? Coolant network. All right. What looks like a coolant network? Coolant network is this red thing. All right. Where's that? Down here. I can hear you in there, Sam. The door is locked down, and I think there is an override access. Something atmospheric. Ugh. All right. Gotta find a schematic for that. Connect to it. I can't use it, but I can connect to it. Alright. See any documents? The laptop. The 
it's not on, so we're gonna find a way to turn it on. So that's its plug, there's its plug. Now it's on. We'll not ask how it just immediately turns on, that's not important. I think probably for good reason she rolls her eyes because you just said it's a tight fit and it's just three of you in there and you're sexing her up anyway see this is what I mean by schematics start to get uh, not in great shape we only really have a partial version of it here but we maybe have enough to do something no we don't believe we have to get another um we have to get another piece of that schematic somewhere i don't think it'll let us use this yeah we need we need the rest of it basically <laughs> no we can't use that laptop See documents for it anywhere else. It's the actual system. Right, we can't say anything either. So we gotta fix these basically before we can do anything. But we need the other piece of the schematic. I don't see. So I missed it around here. Mm. Wait, why did this turn itself off again? I suppose it's not important. Wait, is this it? Yep. Okay, we have the other half now. <laughs> it had to be drawn. Got another memory core thing to connect. Not you. All right, so now we have the full thing, kinda. <laughs> it kinda works, it's, it's good enough. Good enough for our purposes. Okay, so we gotta redo these. So this is seven, two, six. You can see that seven, two, six uses config three, which is six down. Five in from the right, six down, and then just goes one down, sorry, one right, one down, one down, one right, one right. I'm gonna get this wrong, anyway. So, five in, one, two, three, four, five, and six down, one, two, four, five, six. All right, that's one. This is number 186. 186 uses config2, which is a little, it's a little easier to do. Config2 is six down from the left, 
And then it goes across to... No, it isn't. No, I'm reading that wrong. That's the destination. It's two in from the left, four down. And then it goes down, right, down, and then all the way to the left. So two in, uh, four down. Shit. <laughs> it goes down one. We're making progress. Okay, the last one. Nope, over here. Is number... I don't know what number it is. But we can check. It's number 490. Four ninety uses config four, so we start four in from the left, two no three up, and then go in a straight line until we hit three. Okay. Okay. So one two three four one two three, and then keep going until we hit a three. Okay, when all nodes are ready, start each node and confirm. Then, initiate hope controller and confirm. Do the network node, 186, confirm. Start, cool the network node, 490, confirm. Start, cool the network node, 726, confirm. Initiate, Hub controller confirmed. Good job, Sam. That will allow us or anyone else access to the universal modules three and four as well as the Chesso arm. Nice. <laughs> May, what you doing? Now saying something about contact points. Oh, great. We had the same problem on the EAS arm. I think whatever moved us to caused us to shake. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll just drop that in. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. <laughs> no story, but all I know is that Sam thinks he brought us here. Shit. Saturn? I mean, Christ, I don't know where to begin. Yep. Look, uh, you're, you're all fucked. I still have my suit and plenty of O2. Be careful, May. I'll be fine, Emma, don't worry. You can send me out. I just, you know, one of those things is uh, disposable. All right, we're in the the Shenzhou arm or the Chinese China arm, I guess. All right, station alerts. The connection between crew tracker functionality and Sam OS has been severed. I need those sensors working. Go get them online, and I'll fix up the crew tracker from this end. Okay, UN O one three and six. Well, you know, we can we can move about in the in the um, Shenzhou arm for a bit just to see see what's here. Why not? Add some stuff. Power it up. Message for the Chinese Flybit Initiative. We are Houston Crew Sam. Al Sayal on board observation chair. I'm leaving an overnight data drop on your system, which should provide the final readings for analysis and presentation at the Beijing Climate Congress next month. I said before, but it bears repeating. If any unexpected delegates sign up, I can make myself available for translation duties. The only language I get to use on here is English, and I <laughs> to keep the bills paid. Did not send any other Chinese astronauts? Chinese-speaking astronauts, rather. That's a bit mean. What was that? Patch control. Yeah, 
Yes, I must have all power all the time. Must have complete control. Don't move. Is that for me? Or don't move these things. And then test. I think it says test. 1.986. Okay. Big backpack. Uh, don't see any documents or anything. Unless this is something. No. Unless this is something. No. 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 Okay. Maybe on this side. Oh, that is something. Is it? No? Really? Okay. Alright. Let's see what's in the next one. Climatology thesis. Uh, this thesis details advanced climate study techniques for application to non-Earth objects, utilizing the advanced technological strides made as part of the observation mission. Through the use of machine learning AI, scope observations and live data can be simulated and explored in real time. So this is how you ended up on the station. Good read. Staz was impressed. else. It seemed like the EAS arm was like much, much bigger. Another schematic. Alright, well now I know how they work. I think they're all audio logs on this side. Lost the CN arm. Originally part of the CASA Chinese Climate Initiative's Shenzhou 12 mission, the repurposed CN arm module is the last to be attached to the loss in late 2025. This must be what the observ observation is called. LOSS, Low Orbit, yeah, Low Orbital Space Station, it says it there on the left. This module is also of vital importance to international effort to analyze and understand the unprecedented acceleration of climate change. Yay! Since 2020, yay! And to find a way to avoid or delay global catastrophe. Good luck with that. This mission is secondary to the overall observation mission, but still of vital importance. That should really be top priority. Really? So when you collect enough documents on certain areas, you get those kind of things, where you just combine a bunch of stuff together and get a new document out of it. Then, hmm, no camera in that one. Okay, we can't get into can't get into the Russian station. So UN01 is where we're headed now. Got to recalibrate this stuff. Oh God. It's a horror. It's like setting up your router. Awful. Uh, naval sensor power control interface. Sensor disabled. Well, let's fix that. Maximum crew power. You cannot hide from me. Conversion key. Turn blues into greens. Click on blues. Uh, blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. Sensor one is online and receiving data. Good work. All right, that's one. Let's see what else is in this room before we move on. Hatch door I can use here. Uh, yes. Locked. Well, we can fix that. Let's 
Oh wait, these are different. <laughs> I forgot about that. L3 is three in, four down, and then go one down, three right, one down, three right down. Yes. Yeah. Not that that's important or anything, but it's there now. Another hatch. That's already open. It also went, <laughs> for whatever reason, it doesn't let me close them, even though it's a prompt. It just still won't let me close them. Oh, <laughs> oh,